number because you know painkillers kind of make you woo. Hey, what's up, guys? Coming to you live from uh, what is it now? Day two, three. I don't know. Got the surgery done Monday, so I guess it's technically day two after the surgery. It's been an interesting day. Um, we'll back up a little bit from my last video. Um, so. I uh, took a video yesterday and um, the pain really kind of came on kind of heavy. So I took my dad's advice and actually took um, the full um, dose of the painkillers, which, you know, he's right. You're not going to get a trophy or a reward for toughing it out. And there's no like, you know, plaque or monument they're going to put up in my name because I only took 24 of my, you know, 30 pills or whatever. So. Yeah, there's just no point in that, and, and then suffering through the night, not getting any sleep, and then also, you know, that leads to a whole bunch of other issues too. So, took the recommended one to two pills every four to six hours, on it actually being like two pills every three and a half, um, right at four hours, and was actually able to sleep through the night. So, that was good. I ended up uh, doing kind of like a hybrid kind of sleeping situation. I hate recliners, so. Um, it was recommended um, by some family members that I had gotten by a recliner because it's going to be the best way to sleep. And I was like, ugh, God, I hate recliners. They're so ugly. But I have one of these, like, Ikea chairs because, you know, when you have dogs, you know, they kind of destroy everything. So, uh, Billykins, he padded it up, but it's just one of these simple, like, you know, um, kind of like rocking Ikea chairs. And it's been actually very, very comfortable. Um, you know, those ones you can change out the pads on. It's just that wooden frame. And it's been, uh, you know, very good. So ended up bringing it up into the bedroom and uh, sitting in that and then propping my feet up on the bed. Um, so it's almost like, uh, you know, kind of like a DIY-y kind of recliner. So did that for most of the night. I woke up a couple times, I think like at four and took another, you know, two of the painkillers. And then again, at like eight-ish, I think. I don't, you know, really remember because, you know, painkillers kind of make you woo a little out of it but um definitely it did help me sleep last night which you know that you know is definitely part of the recovery you know your body needs the rest and it needs you know that downtime um to re a also reduce the inflammation but you know it needs that time to really kind of repair itself so from that this morning i called into work actually sent out some emails and ended up uh, what did I do? Actually, I took a painkiller now, so my brain's not fully, you know, totally with it right now. I actually just ended up going back to bed this morning, that's what I did. So, after that 8 o'clock dose, I was able to kind of go back to bed till about 11.30 noon. Um, decided to take off the whole entire week. I was trying to be a super, super human, um, he-man, whatever, can just power through this and you know, I told my bosses that like, oh yeah, you know, totally, yeah, you know, I'll be back at work, like, you know, on Wednesday, totally can like, you know, run meetings and, um, you know, do all these like, you know, forecasting models and everything. And yeah, totally, yeah, got it, yeah, no, no, do not got it, do not have it. So, ended up deciding to take off the whole week. I have vacation to burn through and decided that was probably the best thing. Again, no one's handing out trophies for, you know, getting back to work, you know, the fastest either. You know, I think we're all kind of like a little bit on edge, you know, with the whole corona thing too. And you just want to make sure the company knows they're, um, you know, you're dedicated, like, you know, you're like one of the best employees and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I do that anyway. You know, I'm very dedicated to my job. I was actually just sending out emails, um, even though I did take off. But, oh, look, there's that pagan Christmas reef thing that Billy, you know, he, he loves it, so... You know, that makes me love it too. But anyway, so for most of the day, uh, just laid around. I uh, watched the new Star Wars. By the way, it's super awesome. Um, and that's been kind of fun, actually. I've been watching lots and lots of Star Wars. Uh, it's kind of the perfect recovery series because, you know, there's 10 or 11 films now plus all the little mini series. So you can just kind of get lost in it. And yeah, it's very, you know, just keep you entertained and um, on that fast path uh, to recovery. So. For the rest of the afternoon, yeah, I watched the new Star Wars. I, I actually really did like it. Uh, I, you know, tend not to really like the newer ones that much. I actually like the ones that came out like in the late 90s. Um, Cause that's right at the age of, you know, I was in high school-ish. I'm not gonna completely give away my age, but 
um, you can do the math, um, late 90s into the 2000s. I was in high school, and that's when those um, episodes one through three came out. And, you know, I actually really enjoyed those. Uh, I think they're really entertaining, and they went, you know, for a whole new direction. And I, I enjoyed them. You know, a lot of people, you know, Star Wars fans always give it, like, you know, they're not their favorite ones. But, you know, those guys can be, you know, just a little, a little different. And yeah, so back to a pain level and everything, too. It does still hurt. Uh, I took a shower today too, that was the other thing. Um, you can't get the bandage wet, and so that was a little bit of a challenge, but you know, thank God I have like one of these like uh, shower things, which you, know, you go like, you know, like this, like this sort of thing, and that worked, you know, pretty well. Uh, and did not get it wet. Um, did my little pendulum exercises, you know, keep mobility in the shoulder. Uh, making sure to keep up with the painkillers, did another double, you know, dose, well not double dose, but took two. Um, of the painkillers this afternoon and then starting to try and wean it down a little bit because you know I don't want to end up just running out and then you have a crash you know coming down because there are opioids and a little bit more paranoid with that than actual you know the pain but you know we'll come to that crossroads once we actually get there but yeah that's pretty much it Riker Liker you can say hi Riker he, he was just he was trying to crawl all over me because I think he finally sensed that I'm actually injured and decided to try and sniff and paw at the stitches and bandage and everything. So that was that was kind of cute. And then Jaeger bugs, my my old Jaeger bugs buddy. Oh, he looks so cute. He just doesn't really want anything to do with it. But yeah, so that's day two. Yeah, and to keep doing these updates, I might try and ride the bike tomorrow morning because um, I'm getting a little antsy to get some physical activity back in doing you know some sort of physicality type of something each and every day you know it's just as important as um you know keeping your body healthy but also keeping your mind healthy and everything they all play into each other so uh we'll try and get on the bike maybe tomorrow morning if not tomorrow then definitely by friday and i will keep giving you guys these updates and hopefully it's useful information uh, everyone's experience is gonna be different but you know that's kind of the cool thing it's like you can put together all of these experiences and you know, just have a general you know idea of like what could happen to you when and if you eventually have to get your rotator cuff you know fixed because it you know gets severed from your body, over and out.